Welcome to our lecture online. Our next function is kind of an interesting function. y equals the natural log of the cosine of x, and we're trying to find the arc length on the interval from x equals 0 to x equals pi over 4. Interestingly enough, the graph looks a little bit like a parabola, so we're trying to find the length of this piece right there on that curve. Again, we have the general formula to find the arc length, so what we need to do now is find the derivative and the square of the derivative of the function. So we end up with f of x is equal to the natural log of the cosine of x. So the derivative f prime of x is going to be 1 over the cosine of x times the derivative of the cosine, which is the negative sine. And so we end up with f prime of x is equal to the negative tangent of x. And now when we take the square of that, when we square this, we get f prime of x, quantity squared, is equal to the tangent square of x. So that gets plugged in here, so we end up with the arc length is equal to the integral from a to b, we'll plug in the limits later, uh, of the square root of 1 plus the tangent squared of x times dx. All right, 1 plus the tangent square of x, that's equal to the secant square of x. So that means that L is equal to the integral from a to b of the square root of the secant square of x dx. And of course, the square root undoes the square, so we end up with L is equal to the integral from a to b of the secant of x times dx. Now, what is the integral of the secant of x? Well, we end up with L is equal to the natural log of the secant of x plus the tangent of x. And the limits now are going to be from 0 to pi over 4. All right. That means, when we plug in the upper limit, what do we get? Now remember that the secant of x is equal to 1 over the cosine of x. So when we plug in pi over 4, which is 45 degrees, the cosine of 45 is square root of 2 over 2, so that gives us 2 over the square root of 2, or the square root of 2. So L equals the natural log of the secant of 45 degrees, so 1 over the cosine of 45 degrees, so that would be 1 over the square root of 2 over 2, which is equal to 2 over the square root of 2, which is equal to the square root of 2. All right, so that gives me the square root of 2 plus the tangent of 45 degrees is 1, minus, okay, let, uh, let's go like this, right, like this, minus the natural log of, plug in 0. Plug in 0 for x, that gives us 1, so 1 over 1 is 1, so natural 1, plus, and plug in 0 for the tangent, that gives me 0. All right, so far so good. So in this case, we end up with the length is equal to the natural log of the square root of 2 plus 1, and then here, the natural log of 1 is 0, so that drops out, so that means that this here is our solution. Now, of course, you want to figure out what that is approximately equal to. So take the square root of 2 plus 1, take the natural log of that, and we get something that L, so therefore L is approximately equal to 0 0.881, if you want to get a numerical value. So that is how it's done. Uh, again, we need to know our trig functions. We need to be able to convert, and then of course we need to remember that the integral of secant is the natural log of the secant of x plus the tangent of x. Um, I had to look that one up before I did the video, because I didn't remember right off, right off hand. So there you go, that is how it's done.